Hello everyone, welcome. This is Sun and Moon Energy. I go by the name of Sylvie here and I'm going to get right into an energy reading for Gemini. This reading is for Gemini, but really all are welcome here. If something speaks to you, you're more than welcome to it. Um, so I've already done a pre-shuffle of the cards and, you know, I was really trying to meditate uh, on the energy surrounding Gemini and their money. But I'm really getting this uh, this uh, love energy, I'm just going to say, or this romantic energy, uh, this uh, perhaps a person from your past, and also um, the per same person that showed up in a reading recently, might have even been the last reading. So overall energy, um, the Queen of Cups at the bottom of this deck with the Sorceress, the Three of Swords, and the King of Swords. Death and the lovers and the devil. You can't make this up, Gemini. This energy is so intense. Like, I literally been meditating on this for a while because I almost wasn't going to do this reading because it's just like, I don't know, it's like a kooky energy and I kind of stepped away and came back. And then we have the King of Cups here, uh, Page of Wands, Two of Swords, World Card, Six of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Justice, Judgment, Eight of Pentacles, I mean, and the King of Cups again. You can't make this up. The, whoever this King of Cups is, this uh, heavy uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, I really feel like they feel like they're a match with you. Um, I, I, I'm getting the energy you might not be interested, Gemini. I mean, honestly, I feel like you're really more focused on your money. Um, but this King of Cups might just have, might be somebody that can offer you something that might work out. You know, there might be something mutually beneficial for both of you, and it somehow, um, it, uh, it benefits you financially as far as, like, maybe somebody who wants to, has money to invest in your business idea, business plan, something like that. Um, uh, maybe has some real estate that they can rent out to you at a cheaper price, so you can open up your business. Um, things like that. Or just they know somebody and can put in a good word for you somewhere as if you're um, put in your resume somewhere. So a lot of different um, scenarios here. But let's see, more about this energy, more about this Queen of Cups energy, this overall energy. I'm really getting a shape-shifting energy here as I was meditating on it. Three of Swords. Yeah, this is just like the last reading. I feel like there's just something here that's um, that that's tied to this energy that is a is um, it, it hurt you. It hurt you, lovers. Yeah, I feel like this. Um, you know, I'm gonna do this just because I feel like this is um, gonna speak to somebody. I feel like if it doesn't speak to you, just don't take it. You know, Ace of Pentacles. What did I say about, I feel like there's somebody here who thinks that there's a lot of potential with you to have a really great connection, but I don't, I'm just, I'm getting a, a not a wishy-washy energy, but an energy of uncertainty on your end. Music. Um... So, I love this deck. This is so, so heavy water energy. Again, we're starting off with, this is, I think, like the last reading. It started off the same way. And then we have um, the Ace of Pentacles here. So, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Virgo, Capricorn. And then your energy here, Gemini, with the Lovers and the Three of Swords. I'm, I'm not quite sure. We'll have to clarify because I'm not quite sure if you're moving away from this or this is something that... that this Three of Swords is something romantic that hurt you. But again, this kind of like, if I do it like this, right, doesn't this make it seem like what I just said? I think you're more focused on your um, getting your money, getting your coin. Um, I'm hearing material wealth. This came out in the past reading. Then there's nothing wrong with that. You know, you want a home. You want, maybe you want a new vehicle or a vehicle. You know, I don't have a vehicle. You know, um, it would make things a lot easier if I did, but, you know, for me, it was choosing between, you know, for some of us, it's, it's between, um, it's, it's one or the other with things, we, we, we don't have everything, you know, and that's okay, we, we work around that, um, but I am feeling here that you are really focused on, 
your material wealth. However, with this Queen of Cups energy here, I do, I was getting this very like sensual energy, this very romantic energy, but this is also a very creative energy. So this could be, again, you, what did I say about shape-shifting? And there's like this face down here and this fish, and again with this sea energy. This came out for you before with this, um, you know, remember I was like getting Tropic of Cancer. I'm getting beach. And it was interesting. I didn't think about it later till I was like, you know, watching. I just happened to like watch the video and, um... And I was like, wow, I didn't even like realize I had set out these seashells and then did that reading and was getting that beach energy. And maybe I was just picking up on that like subconsciously because that's what I was setting out. But maybe I also set it out because I was picking up on that energy, right? And I personally love the beach. I would love to live near the beach, the ocean, um, the sea. That would be ideal for me. <clears throat> Anywho, um, but with this energy here, this water energy, I am getting like a beachy, again, a beachy ocean energy. So there could be this, there's this travel energy, somebody coming back from the past. Um, it's an emotional, it, it, it's emotional. For, there's something emotional about this energy here. It could just be about you changing something. So the two of pentacles uh, came out in reverse. Why the two of pentacles in reverse? I did want to ask about that Three of Swords, so... It's interesting that the moon comes out here. This is more water energy. Uh, I just, like... For me, this is, this is more about um, being able to uh, see, see things that are hidden. I don't know, with this energy here, I'm almost getting that there was like some type of uh, four of wands at the bottom of the deck with the high priestess. Wow, you know, I was getting that high priestess energy with that moon energy because I, I, I was thinking like, I think, you know, you were able to use your intuition here to see a situation. And I think whatever this was, whether this was a job, another person, a family member, whatever it means to you. I think you were able to see something that um, whatever decision they made or you made, it didn't, it didn't, um, you were able to see something that you, um, you're moving away from that. It was something very painful. More about this lover's card, more about this lover's card. Again, this makes me feel like with the three of pentacles coming out, it's like more about, now the hangman just flipped over. Yeah, it's about, you know, like I said, you know, you're focusing on your um, material wealth here. You might be um, looking for another, some type of other opportunity here. It's so amazing with this, um, with this hangman here, you know, we have a lot of water energy. I said this before, but I think this is like a... You know, this can be a very emotional time for you. Perhaps this person coming back created some kind of upset. Or maybe not even an upset, but just... But I don't think you're whatever it is, or maybe you're just walking away from a, a job situation here. This is a division of some type of partnership I'm getting. Some, whatever that means for you then. But the Ace of Pentacles here, this card wanted to come out, Page of Wands. More about this Ace of Pentacles. Well, it's a new beginning. It's the end of a struggle. There's some type of opportunity coming in. And with this page of wands, like with this eight here, this like, uh, you know, the infinity symbol, it's, um, wow, king of wands and temperance, seven of cups. It's a lot of cards. I do feel like this is some type of opportunity. It's like I'm hearing like a means to an end. So the end of that struggle, the end of that, um, that dark period here really interesting if we look this way 
you know, we have the moon, the hangman, and then the ten of wands. So it's like this really watery, heavy, like, emotional. I'm getting a lot of, like, cycles here of, like, having to go through a lot of life cycles and moving forward to, like, I'm hearing clarity, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if the Ace of Swords came out because this just, I don't know, for some reason I'm getting this energy of where there's definitely a transformative energy here, but especially with that Sorceress card here, and that is the High Priestess, right? And we have the High Priestess, do we not, somewhere in here when we were shuffling before. Interesting, the Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Star card with the hair fought and the Two of Swords almost gives me like this romantic energy. Or even just, I'm getting a little bit of this uh, contract energy. Okay, y'all. I've been doing everything that I need to do. I really appreciate y'all in the comments giving me advice, but I'm really good. I've been doing everything, and it hasn't really been that long. I am on the upswing. I got an air purifier. I think it's really severe allergies, but I might have a sinus infection. I might be coming to terms with that um, if in a couple of days it's not really resolved. Um, I'm going to reach out to my doctor, so don't worry. But I do have to do a lot of talking at work, so it's it really strained me the past couple of days. <clears throat> that being said, anywho. This is actually a good time to just talk about memberships for a second. I'm really working on, I want to change some things up. I'm going to make a video, make some changes tomorrow. I'm going to start having more members videos. Um, I think I'm going to do away with the early access video thing. I don't really like that. I think YouTube is kind of like pushing like that they want you to do that, that people like that, but I don't really feel like that's any sort of like really benefit for me anyway. Maybe if I had, you know, 50,000 followers, but I don't. Um, but I'm almost at 1500 and I am so grateful. I'm just going to say like, I'm just really loving it. It's a great little community. I feel like we're all trying to like encourage each other here and just be really like, um, inspiring. I know a lot of you are looking for work or moving or going through, you know, relationship struggles, tough times. And, uh, you know, I just want you all to know, like, I, I do really, like, take this seriously, being here, and, like, you know, you all inspire me to, like, keep going and, and move forward and be really positive and be grateful and love everything that, you know, is happening right now in my life and be really thankful. So, just want to say thanks, everybody. Um, yeah. So, let's get back to this reading. Sorry, I know I rambled a little bit, but I just wanted to say thank you. Um... Nine of Swords, Six of Cups. Wow, another Six of Cups. See, and that Four of Swords. Wow, look at all these swords, Gemini. Oh my God, Nine of Swords. Four of Swords, Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords. Wow, another Devil card here with the Magician and the Fool. I don't know, I almost like get this energy of like, somebody's really trying hard to like... Come back in. All that sword energy might not even be your energy, Gemini. That could just be um, this other person's energy. You know? And, um... Can you tell us more about this Queen of the Queen of Cups energy? I think I started actually started out with that with the three of swords, but can I just get another card? Thank you. Yeah, this was definitely yeah with the ten of pentacles. So we have ten ten again, Gemini. This just keeps up ten ten ten, and a lot of like also too like I noticed with those swords like there's a lot of like progression cards I feel like or just progression energy here. Even looking at this, it's like from the Two of Pentacles upside down into the Three of Pentacles here. 
But with this Ten of Swords on that, on your energy here for that Queen of Cups, I just think it's like, wow, that card just flew out. I was going to say some type of new beginning, new opportunity to have something. Maybe it could even just be like, you haven't had something like a really good relationship in a really long time, a romantic partnership, something maybe even too that like, maybe you have a business together. Or you just inspire each other so much. Maybe you have like you co, like maybe you have a studio together, you're doing your own thing. But so the Eight of Swords came out, but the way it came out, it was in reverse. And this is just making me think with that Ten of Swords, it's like, yeah, you're done of being in your head, being trapped by this, like, emotional, like, baggage, basically, of the past. Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, with the Page of Cups, I'm almost getting, it's like a new opportunity here coming in. Can you tell us more? <coughs> Wow. And I said that, and I like kind of want to take these, because it's like you have the Magician and the Fool again, which wanted to show their face before, with the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Again, with this progression, you know, it's like zero, one, and then we have two, another, eight, like, these um, eights here are just um, three threes. You know, there's a lot of, like, um, Like, I'm hearing pairings, doubling, so it's just making me think of, like, there is some type of partnership here. And I'm very well getting here that it's some type of business opportunity. It's a fresh start for you. And you may have very well manifested this. I mean, this is, again, with your double energy here, Gemini. You can't make this up. This is, like, double... Double air energy here with the Magician and the Fool, and then you have double eights. Again with that eight, is that infinity symbol. For me, look, we have the infinity symbol here. And I feel like it's, again, it's about flipping things. It's about taking a situation, or situations, and flipping it. Getting out of that Eight of Swords energy, leaving that behind, and moving ahead towards your Ace of Pentacles. And with that Eight of Pentacles, this very well does tell me in the Six of Pentacles, this is coin-related. This is material wealth. I mean, these, these kids here on the Six of Cups here look like they got a lot of money, I'm going to say. They look pretty wealthy here in this village. I mean, they're dressed to them really nicely here in their cups, like with these really beautiful flowers here, just like... I think it's just almost like, for me, I just feel like somebody's coming in with some type of opportunity. I feel like somebody's coming in with an opportunity. More about that page of pentacles. More about that page of pentacles. I feel like it wanted to come out sideways. I feel like with it coming out sideways there and then the strength card, it almost makes me think that it's just like it's not here yet. It's like, yeah, five of wands at the bottom of the deck with the page of swords and the ace of cups. It's like... You might still be sort of in this energy where you're not really sure, like, how you're really gonna get, you like, gather the strength to, like, get through to the end here. You might have been stabbed in the back, too, with that ten and three of swords, but there is, yeah, with that two of wands, you're definitely looking ahead. Definitely looking ahead here. I'm gonna get one more from this deck, page of swords. Exactly, this is your energy, this is air energy, a lot of air energy, ace of cups at the bottom of the deck. This is wish fulfillment. This is feeling really, um, everything's going your way. There's a lot of abundance. Again, you know, it's like, you know, there's another page of pentacles. I feel like there's a lot of opportunity coming your way. Whatever this is, this partnership, I do feel like there is some type of, you might not even, like, be partnering with this person. Again, it could just be an investor, somebody who, um, maybe is giving you a deal on, again, like I said, you know, on something or, but I, I, I am sort of getting somebody who's coming in with something that is going to help you have this new beginning. And, and it could be like a new business or rebranding. You know, we do have this, um, 
But this lover's energy, you know, it doesn't have to be romance. You know, the fool is a new beginning. It's taking a chance. It's, it's, it's being a little risky. And I feel like with the magician here, it's like, you know you can afford to take the risk here. You you feel like you have, you're in, you're in your element here. You have the power now. And again, with that Ace of Pentacles in between. Look, it's like, bam, in between the lovers and the magician here, Gemini, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Again, that's why I feel like you have this financial backing coming in. You know, I can't tell. I'm not, a, like, I'm not saying that's exactly what's happening here, but, and again, because, you know, with the overall energy of the Queen of Cups with the Sorceress, with the Three of Swords, again, that Three of Swords, it's overcoming something and feeling really abundant, is the overall energy. Overcoming something really, I'm hearing, maybe even tragic. I don't know why I'm hearing this, but I'm hearing like maybe you lost your first business, lost everything in a fire or something happened. I'm sorry if that's the case or just I'm getting this, you know, there's a lot of endings here with all these tens, but and the nines, you know, and the swords and all that eight of swords energy. But there's also these new beginnings because it's like you there's only one option after these tens here and that's a new beginning and it's happening here with this energy. This is such an amazing energy here. And, oh, I don't know if I mentioned this before. I think I started to, and then, I don't know, maybe I had a coughing fit. But um, 11 was on the die for the overall energy, which was the same as last time. And I was like, oh, 11, and 1 and 1 is 2. Again, it's that pairing energy. It's partnership energy. It's after a division re you know reconnecting and it could just be yourself but i'm definitely getting an energy of somebody else here coming in with something that's going to help you um manifest this is manifesting your this is being ambitious manifest you know manifesting your goals your desires here this is like it, it doesn't get any better than this gemini it really doesn't with the Ace of Pentacles, this is like a bullseye here. You just might still be, I'm almost getting like this, this is like this progression. What did I say before? Well, I didn't even realize. Why did that? Huh. So the Devil and the Five of Wands was at the top of the deck there. And you might, what did I say about moving out of, there's like just some really awful thing that maybe you had to go through, something toxic. Maybe it's just a toxic work environment. Maybe a toxic partnership, toxic business partnership. Maybe you're going through a divorce, what separation, whatever it may be for you. I feel like you you do. Look at all these eight infinity symbols here. Look at in the lion's head here. This is again giving me growth, new opportunity. It's a lot of a growth energy here. A lot of really flipping things in your favor, I'm hearing. I wouldn't be surprised if the Wheel of Fortune came out too. And not so much that I feel like you're lucky here, but that like you're, again, it's about you making your destiny happen. You know, but I think there is, yeah, Six of Wands, that's success, that's victory. And now we have the Princess of Cups. Princess of Swords and the Prince of Cups at the top. Wow, Gemini. I love this energy. This is... This has come out for you before, and I love it on this card. She's like, so, this this person is so beautiful on this horse, coming in, like, riding in. It's like, I think after this long journey, you know, whatever this was that you had to go through here, um, and really feeling, like, so proud, and it's like a homecoming that, again, came out for you before where there could be, um, again, you know, there could be property involved here. I'm getting that a lot with this energy here. Um, you could be relocating. This is beautiful energy, Gemini. This is success. The Six of Wands is success. It's um, it's feeling really um, feeling really satisfied. Everything seems to be working just the way it should be. Look at, we have another, what it, look, six and six. Again with these pairings, Gemini. Amazing energy, Gemini. This is really amazing energy. 
I almost don't even like need to pull another card, you know, because I just feel like this is like so solid here with the Six of Cups, that Ace of Cups. I really do feel like it's just getting through this, this, you know, and this kind of was like, I think the energy before, it's like that last leg of your journey here, or the last, you know, whatever you're trying to gather the strength to cut, whatever hurt you, you know, gathering that strength to move forward. You know, and this, with this lover's card here, this could just even be a decision to, um, again, like I said in the beginning, it's about focusing on your, um, your ace of pentacles, focusing on, um, what is, uh, the ultimate, I'm hearing the ultimate win for you, but, you know, this could also be, again, this is a pairing here. Can you tell me if there's an, what, another person in this energy, this final, like a final outcome, um, Queen of Cups. Wow. The Gemini, like I said, it could just be somebody coming in with financial backing because I do. Or maybe somehow you're getting that whatever you need. But yeah, seven of coins. Yeah. Oh my God, Gemini. That was your card last time. That was the overall energy. This is you making it happen. You've worked so hard for this. I'm really getting this travel energy here, Gemini. This is amazing. Again, that's that card that I said that came out for you. I was getting Tropic of Cancer. This is heavy earth energy here with the seven of uh, pentacles, seven of coins. This is, again, about transformation. What did I say about somebody wanting to move ahead? Somebody's leveling up. Somebody's upgrading. Somebody's going through this. I'm hearing rite of passage. Moving to... This is like, this is um, a very powerful energy here. Again, what I said about shape-shifting, this is um, you coming into some sort of like, this is giving me this shape-shifting energy, and it's a uh, very powerful energy here with the magician and the fool. Again, this is giving me the energy of, like I said, I think you're really focused on your um, your goals, your ambitions, your your wealth, your material wealth, your having a home, stability. With the sage, or the oh, also known as the hair font here, we have a Prince of Cups introspection, and that Prince of Wands card. Wow. Yeah, I feel like this is some type of some type of partnership here that um, there's like a contract energy here. Definitely like a contract. Somebody come. What did I say? I, I just feel like somebody's coming in. They have something to offer you. Whatever that means for you, it could be money. It could be romance. It could be all of it. I don't think you're doing just doing this on your own. I do think there's some other op something coming in here for you that is going to be allow. It's like again, that's that final piece in the puzzle there, the final final like cog in the wheel or whatever. It's like that final leg of your journey. What did I say before? That really makes this homecoming happen, you know. And with this this imagery on here, it's like these two like ancient figures like out in this beautiful forest, and they like blend in. And again, the edge of the water here, you know, it's a homecoming. I feel like you really had to do some deep inner work with the introspection card there to go through this transformation and to be able. I feel like to be able to trust again. I feel like this is almost telling me here. It's like to be able to take that leap of faith to trust again to um, see this opportunity as a good opportunity, know that, trusting your intuition, you know, and seeing that this person really is, is, has something to offer you, and, and it's okay, you know, um, it's going to be very beneficial, and you have a lot to offer too, I don't think, you know, like I said, I think this is some type of investment, they see that you have there's a creative energy here that you're offering up, that you have something 
and they want to invest in it. I'm going to leave it here, Gemini. This is amazing energy. Um, wow, I'm really blown away. Uh, yeah, I just, um, I'm going to leave it here. And I hope you all have a great night. Thanks for watching. Bye!